morning guys, I hope you're all well. Today I'm gonna do a what we eat in a day. So it's for me and my two boys, Jasper who is four and a half and Jensen who is two next week. Um, Jensen has got chicken pox though, so his appetite's not really the same. And we're in Jamaica, so it's really hot, which it is in England at the moment anyway. So yeah, I thought it'd be a bit of a different one to show you what we eat when we're abroad. It's not a holiday, we're here for five weeks while my husband's working. So it's not like we're in a resort and we've got all inclusive of food and stuff it's yeah so it's just like normal cooking at home we're in all day today because of the chicken pox um so yes it is 10 to 8 in the morning and i'm just doing our breakfast oh and if you like this kind of video then please do give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already because i do lots of videos like this and travel days in the life cleaning fitness all kind of stuff like that um here's jasper you okay, bud? Yeah, I'm just looking at the view. Let's looking go, at the view. Let's go for a walk. Okay, we will in a minute. And yeah, thanks for watching. Okay, to start with, the boys are having a bowl of Weetabix each. Um, I don't know why, but I put two in one, so I've just had to half it. So they've got one each, and they've got that with full fat milk, um, and they like it quite kind of thick and stodgy rather than too milky. So that was a bit of a disaster. Jensen did not want to eat that at all. Um, not a disaster, that's really dramatic. He just, he's off his food today. So I'm just gonna do them both some fruit or something like Jasper is eating his. Um, but yeah, just something light for his tummy. Okay, so now they're just having a little snack. Jensen's got grapes cut in half. Some are cut in quarters actually. Um, and Jasper has got some dates in his as well. Oh, bless him. Oh, sweetheart, look at those chicken pox. Right, Jensen's not having anything now then. Here's yours, bud, the yellow one. Good boy. I'm going to sit there. I'm going to sit outside with them. Inside. Okay. I'll pop these in the fridge for him because he'll have those when he wakes up. Jasper's going to have Jensen's grapes. And can you put some dates in there? <laughs> yeah, okay. So you're having two lots of dates and grapes. So Jensen has woken up. It's only been about ten minutes since I showed you that he was asleep. Um, and he wanted some milk. So he's got a bot bot. I know he's almost two um, and we are trying to get him off the bottle, but when he's poorly like this, it's just a comfort thing for him. Um, so yeah, he has got about six ounces of full fat cow's milk. And I'm just having some toast with cream cheese on. Normally I'd have at least two bits of bread, um, but my appetite's just gone in Jamaica because it is so hot. Also, as a quick side note, I'm not currently eating a plant-based diet. Um, it's just too difficult out here. I went to a restaurant the other day and I asked for the vegetable curry and they said they didn't have any vegetables, like none. So unless I want to live off of chips, um, I have been having some fish and I have been having dairy. I've got like almond milk alternative, but it is hard to find like butter alternatives and cream cheese alternatives and stuff like that here. So um, yeah, while I'm here, I have been quite slack on the whole vegan plant-based diet, but um, I am hoping to get back into it when I get back, because I feel like I've fallen off the bandwagon a little bit. Oh, this one is just helping himself to my toast, which is fine, because you've not eaten anything else. <laughs> okay, so Jensen is now having toast, and I'm going to go and make myself some more. So he managed two teeny tiny bites, and he's gotten down from the table. So I'll just finish this one now. Okay, I've just done the boys some ice cream. How fancy this can table is. Uh, uh, yeah, so Jasper uh, has got vanilla ice cream with sprinkles, Jensen's got plain ice cream. But I don't think he's going to be eating it. He is really suffering, bless him. Ooh. Right, it's about half eleven and I'm going to do some lunch in a minute, but me and Jasper have just made cookies. So we're all having one. I don't know if Jensen's going to have one, but um, me and Jasper definitely will, won't we? So me and Jasper ended up having two big ones each. Jensen didn't have one at all. Um, he's really suffering, bless him. Okay, Jensen has just chosen one of these Gerber baby yogurts. Um, this is the Hawaiian one that's got like coconut and stuff in, but yeah, it's just good for him to get some fruit and veg in. I know, Bubba, you can have it. Come sit down at the table. So I'm just going to do me and the boys some lunch. It's about one o'clock now um, and I'm going to do scrambled eggs with toast and tomatoes, I think. But the eggs don't have an expiration date on them anywhere on the box or on the eggs. So I'm just doing the test. And if you don't know this, it's quite a good hack. But fill a bowl of cold water, place the uncracked egg inside 
if it floats to the bottom and lays flat, which it's doing, then it's in date and it's still fresh. Um, if it stands up on one end, then it's a few weeks old, but still okay to eat. And if it floats all the way to the top, then it's bad. Um, so yeah, these ones are fine to do. Okay, so for lunch, we've got scrambled egg and toast. Um, so I've got that with some pepper and tomato. And then, well, we've all got the same, but the boys have got theirs in little face shapes and I haven't. Um, Jensen's got the tiniest amount because I really don't think he's gonna eat any. So Jensen ate a tiny bit of toast, none of his egg, and he gave his tomato and pepper to Jasper. Um, and Jasper ate everything, and I ate everything. Right, the spotty one is having some more grapes and a yogurt. I feel like grapes always make a poorly one feel better, don't they? Okay, it's time for grapes round, probably number four. You can get buddy there. Thanks, you, mummy. Okay, the boys are having ice cream with sprinkles again. Jensen did say that he wanted them, but I don't know if he's going to eat them now. I just ate the ice cream. He does not want it, and um, I don't want it to go to waste, so I had it. But I'm going to try and make some dinner in a minute. He loves beans, so I might just give him beans on toast. I know we had egg on toast for lunch, which he didn't eat, um, but yeah, it's worth a try. Right, we're making dinner and we've decided to go for something a little bit healthier than just beans. So we're doing a veggie stir fry with carrots, onions, tomatoes, we're doing corn and cob. Can you not put onions on one because I don't like onions? Well, you can just pick them out. Okay, so the boys have got stir fried veg, they've got carrot, tomato, yellow pepper, onion, there's some garlic in there as well and some seasoning, and then corn on the cob, which I'm hoping this one has because he loves corn on the cob. But we'll see. Okay, so I've got the same as the boys and then some fish with just some seasoning on and some sauce. It's like a barbecue sauce. So yeah, it looks quite nice actually. Okay, so that's the boys in bed. I can hear Jensen stirring, so I'm going to make this quick. Um, but yeah, it wasn't the greatest day in terms of what we all ate. The boys, well, Jasper did have quite a lot of fruits and vegetables. Um, Jensen hardly ate anything. And to be honest, I'm quite looking forward to getting back to the UK kind of doing like my normal food shop and being able to get all the food that I can get back home because here like I haven't seen an avocado in a supermarket I know they do avocados here but I haven't seen one so yeah anyway it probably wasn't very inspirational but at least it's realistic so hopefully quite a few of you can relate to you know a day with a poorly child in hot weather and not everyone eating that well so yeah thank you for watching please do give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you next time thanks for watching bye